Welcome to the next episode of the Microbiology Tube. So in this episode, we'll be talking about the citrate test. There are a lot of the biochemical tests for the identification of the bacteria, such as the indole uh, test, EMR test, PP test, citrate test, urease test. So among them, citrate test is one of the tests which is used to identify the bacteria in, in the interbacteria family. So, in this test, we will know whether the bacteria can utilize the citrate as the sole source of carbon or not. So, as we know, the bacteria can use the carbohydrate, lipids or the proteins as the source of the carbon. But here, we are going to know whether the bacteria can utilize the citrate or not. For that, what we do is that we use a medium and this medium is called the Simon citrate medium. So, in this medium, there is only one biochemical that can be utilized by the bacteria as a sole source of carbon which is citrate so there are only the citrate there is no carbohydrate lipids or the protein so there is only a citrate so what happens what we do we inoculate the bacteria into the citrate medium and look whether the bacteria can utilize the citrate or not if the bacteria can utilize the citrate the bacteria will grow the air but if the bacteria cannot use the citrate, the bacteria cannot grow there or will be inhibited. But the thing is that how could we know whether the bacteria has utilized the citrate or not? So what actually happens is that the bacteria, whenever the bacteria utilize the citrate, so the end product will be the pyruvate and the carbon, carbon dioxide. I repeat. Whenever the bacteria utilize the citrate, the end product will be the pyruvate and the carbon dioxide as we know from the Cape cycle. So what happens to the pyruvate? So after the pyruvate is uh, released, what happens is that the pyruvate may be changed into the acetoate or plus format or to the acetate or lactate. So it depends upon the fit or the, it depends upon the pH of the medium. So if the pH of the medium is alkaline, so the pyruvate will be changed into the acetate and the fermate. But what happens if the pH is in the neutral or below the 7? So what happens is that if the pH is 7 or below, so the pyruvate will be changed into the acetate, lactase and the carbon dioxide. Similarly, the pyruvate can be changed to the acetoin plus carbon dioxide. Here we see carbon dioxide. So what does this carbon dioxide do? So this carbon dioxide will react with the water and sodium ion to form the, to form the uh, sodium bicarbonate or sodium carbonate. So it will form the sodium carbonate. So so sodium carbonate is what sodium carbonate is the alkaline compound so which will rise the pH of the medium so what it what it will do it will rise the medium to the alkaline condition so what is the main target the main target is that anyhow the pH of the medium is going to be alkaline if the bacteria grow I repeat if the bacteria grows in the medium by any condition the pH of the medium will be alkaline and there is also another compound which is the ammonium salt so what happens this ammonium salt are utilized by the bacteria as the source of the nitrogen so these this ammonium salt are utilized by the bacteria as a source of nitrogen so so what happens while utilizing the ammonium salt they also produce the ammonium hydroxide so they also produce the ammonium hydroxide so these ammonium hydroxides is also alkaline in nature so what happens when the pH of the medium is alkaline so what happens anyhow the pH is the alkaline so what happens if the pH of the medium is alkaline how, what it turns it turns into the blue color it turns into the blue color so but blue color why it turns into the blue color because there is an indicator called the bromothymol blue so there is an indicator called the bromothymol blue which turns from the green to the blue 
when the pH of the medium is around 7.6. So here we can know that if the bacteria grows on the simon saturated medium, the medium will be alkaline. So if the medium will be alkaline, the, meta the, the bromothymol blue will be changed its color from the green to blue in color. So here in the figure you can see the positive and the negative one. So what happens, so this is the negative one. So you can see the medium is green in color. So what is the medium? So it is the green in color. So what does it mean? It means the medium is not in the, is not in the alkaline condition, is, is not in the alkaline condition. Whereas this is blue in color and the medium is alkaline in condition. So why it is alkaline in condition? It is alkaline in condition because of the growth of the bacteria. Because of the growth of the bacteria. So how, why the bacteria grow? So bacteria, only those bacteria grow which are able to utilize citrate. Which are able to utilize the citrate. So if we reverse it, so what happens? The bacteria which utilizes the citrate will produce the alkaline conditions due to which the medium will be blue in color. So how we do the procedure? So in this test we use a tube. So in the tube we put the semen saturated medium. So in this, in this test we only near the, uh, we only near the slant. We only near the slant. We don't need the bot. So we streak the in the slant and we incubate it for at 37 to 37 degrees centigrade for four to seven days. So if we observe the blue color, so within a four to seven days, so we th we know that this is a cited positive. But if we cannot, if we cannot find the blue color within a four to seven days of the incubation, then it is said to be the citrate negative. So the citrate positive bacteria are the Capsella pneumoniae, Enterobacter, Citrobacter frundi, Salmonella species other than the Typhi and Paratyphi A, Ceresia mersensis, Proteus mirabilis and Providencia species are some of the citrate positive species whereas the citrate negative species is on the next slide. So some of the cited neg negative bacteria are the E. coli, Cisella, Salmonella typhi, Salmonella partyphi, A. morganella, morgani, Yersinia, intero in enterocolitica. So these are some of the cited negative bacteria. So here in the gist, we will know about the citrate. So what happens? So for, uh, for example, if the bacteria, if the bacteria is able to utilize the citrate, so what will be the end product? The end product will be the pyruvate plus carbon dioxide. So this carbon dioxide will react with the hydrogen and the ammonia that is present in the medium to become the sodium carbonate. So to, to become the sodium, uh, to make the sodium carbonate which is alkaline in condition. So what it will be make? It will make the conditions al uh, medium alkaline. So if the medium is alkaline in condition, so what we have the indicator? We have the indicator called bromothymol blue, which will convert from the green color to the blue color. So whenever we know the medium is blue in color, what does that represent? That represents, the first thing it represents is the medium is alkaline condition. The second thing it, it tells us is that the bacteria is able to grow in the medium. The third thing it says us is that the bacteria is able to utilize the citrate. So the bacteria which grow and make the, bac make the medium blue are the citrate positive bacteria. Thank you for watching my video. So if you have any queries about the uh, about this lectures or any suggestion, please feel free to uh, to comment in the comment box. Thank you.